Welcome to Violin Adventures number 148. This week we made real good progress on the cello and the Magini copy violin. So here we go. Okay, we're here at the Virginia Violin and what we're going to do next is get a repair label in here and then close this up. We've tapped it. The tone is good. We've got a beautiful tone coming through and there's no buzzing in the plate. So it looks like we're good to close this up. So right now I'm warming up the glue. All right, the glue is heated up. So we're gonna go ahead and close up. First we'll put the label in and then we're gonna close up the violin. And we're back to the Virginia violin. We need to get all the clamps off and get the neck set today. the glue all warmed up and I made new fresh glue because we're setting the neck we want a good strong glue on there and in the meanwhile I got the neck fitting so it'll be at the right angle and the right height Good, okay, so we're gonna let this dry for 24 hours and then we'll see about setting it up, getting it a new bridge and a new sound post. Okay, we're getting ready to set up our Magini copy violin. So we've got, here's the drawer with all my organized tools for setup and then here's our box with all the parts. And right now I'm getting ready to replace the sound post. Remember this one had about three grains in the wood and I'm replacing it with one that has seven. Okay. So here's our Virginia Violin Magini copy and we're going to play it and see how it sounds.
and those lower G and D strings are big and full and they just need to be played right now. Uh, let's look at let's listen to the higher strings. much more lively and giving out it's um, improving as I play molecules are having to realign themselves again so I'm happy with how it's sounding now we're not done with the violin yet I need to uh, take off the upper nut because it's too narrow and the owner would like a correct nut up there so we're going to replace that and then I also have the touch up on the uh, violin to do. So we're going to do all that next week. Okay, our cello back is almost finished. Our professor was here yesterday and he got it down to where we just need to go about two and a half millimeters. You can hear how loud this cello is. The closer we get to the correct uh, graduations, the louder it is getting. So our cello is wanting to sing. That, that is really waking up. That has really woken up from last week when you could tell there was too much wood. So we are still have a ways to go, but the tone is starting to come out. Wow, the tone is really coming out now. It sounds like it's a little heavy on the top, but I'm going to measure it. Okay, we are really close and that's why it's sounding so good. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a little more work, getting it just a little bit closer and hopefully that will bring out the tone even more. Well, it's still getting louder. down to where they belong and we're checking the tone so much tone so the next thing we need to do is scrape this and get it all smooth on the inside okay what is this mountains and mountains the mountain range of wood chips located in Kentucky come and see the wood chip mountain range here's the south side of the mountain range Okay, we're starting on our New York violin. Let's open this up and just see what's going on on the inside. Let me show you what this looks like. Okay, 
Here is the inside. As you can see, it hasn't been finished car being carved. And this is just a silly base bar. It has no purpose at all here. It's in the wrong place and it's just carved out of the top wood. And I don't know if you can see how bumpy this is. So this is one of those instruments. They made it look like a violin on the outside, but on the inside, it's not finished. Now here is the inside of the back. First off, we'll have to clean this all up. You can see here that they added a label um, on top of the dirt. <laughs> and, um, and actually this back is open, which I'm glad to see a little bit because this wasn't put together correctly. So we're gonna have to get this open and put the back together correctly. Um, there's no blocks here. We may leave it or we may put little blocks in. We've got to put in an upper block here. Freddie has some exciting news. Hi, hi everyone. I, I, Freddie. And, and, um, thank you everybody that's sending in your, your projects. I, I'm learning a lot of stuff. And, and I like you guys. You're my friends. So, my first project is from Mr. Thomas Pinch. Yeah, he, he plays a great, big, beautiful organ. And, uh, and he sent a video so you can hear him. He, well, I'll let, I'll let my boss tell about it, but it's really beautiful. This is a beautiful church built in 1430. And during the pandemic, Mr. Thomas Pinch would contribute a short recording weekly to the online service. Okay, my next one is from Mr. Randy in South Dakota. And he's been working on some violins. And remember, a while back he had some broken ones. Well, here he put in a bass bar. Well, that's good, Randy. Well, Randy says that we inspired him to put in this bass bar in a 1960 violin. Well, it looks like a very beautiful bass bar. Great job. Well, I better go now. Uh, everyone keep sending in your projects because that's my part of the video. And, and I really like doing this. Okay, bye. Hey, you all, some of you wanted to see more of the miniatures, so I'm including that here.
here it is Friday afternoon very bright and sunny let's go in and see what's happening in the violin shop here we are in the violin shop and you can see right off the cello table has changed drastically well here's our cello now this is not glued down well first off we finished graduating the back plate and I am just using the back plate to help hold the ribs in place while I glue on the lining on the inside. So that's what we're doing here. We got a lot of progress done. Actually, our cello professor came by and we worked on getting the ribs out of the mold, finishing up the back and getting the lining in. So we got a lot of work done. So next week we'll be cutting down the inside blocks and preparing the ribs to be glued on. Because like I said, these aren't glued on, they're just sitting on here. Next we come to our Magini copy and this violin is really waking up and the tones are coming out and sounding very beautiful. So we're going to finish this up next week, Lord willing. The Hebrew Minute. Mi chacham vayiven ele navun vayadaim ki yesharim darke hashem vezadachim yelku bam uf shaim yikashlu bam. Okay, this is says, who is wise, they will understand these things. Who is prudent, and they will know that the ways of the Lord are right. And the righteous will walk in them, but transgressors will fall or stumble in them. This is a tricky one. If you know where this is found, please leave it in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching and for all your wonderful comments. And thank you for all the thumbs up. And until next time, God bless you. Bye.